Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how to design content era in AutoCAD. So let's get started. So first step, let's create a cylinder at origin. Type 0, 0 and enter. And let's put radius about 24 and enter. And let's click on is the endpoint from the ocean dialog box. And let's put it in the extraction and type that T enter. Okay, now let's move this uh, above about 24. And let's create one more cylinder at this center. And the radius will be 34 and enter. And the height will be 30. Okay, let's create one more cylinder at the center. Okay, this time the amount of radius will be 40 and enter. And the height will be 26 and enter. Okay, now let's select uh, this and we need to move this in the extraction about 2. Okay, that's good. Now let's change the visual style to wireframe. And let's use the subtract command. Select this cylinder and this one and enter. And let's select this one in the center. Okay, that's look great. Now we need to use the slice command. Select this object. Enter and use the XY plane for slicing plane and click here and enter. Now select this and delete it. Now let's go to the top view. And here you need to create a 2D sketch which I have already done it. Let me show you it. Okay, this is a sketch. You can use this dimension to create this sketch. Okay, now let's uh, change the visual style to wireframe. And let's use the copy command and select this and click on this midpoint and paste it here. Okay, let's use the extrude command and extrude it any amount you want. Now let's uh, change the visual style first. Okay, let's use the subtract command. Select this body, enter and select this one and enter. Now let's use the separate command. Select this object and exit to time. And delete this, we don't need it anymore. Okay, now let's use the copy command one more time. And let's place it right at this corner. And let's use the SU command one more time. Select this one and extrude it about 24 unit. Okay, now let's change the visual style to wireframe and extrude this circle again up to this point. Now let's use the subtract command. Select this body. And this one and enter, select this cylinder and enter. Now let's use the slice command, select this object and enter. And choose the Z for slice and plane. And let's click on this center and enter. Delete this. Okay, now let's use the filler H command. And let's choose radius about 10. You can choose any more you want. And select this H to filler H and select this H2 and enter okay now we need to mirror this to the other side so let's use the tree mirror command and let's use the ZX plane for the mirror plane and click on this end point and choose no and let's use tree mirror command one more time okay union it first and use the tree mirror again and choose the X1 for mirror plane click here and choose no Now let's go to the solid tab and use the chamfer command and select this H to chamfer it. Okay, and hit the enter and let's uh, put the distance, any distance you want. I'm going to use the 105 for the distance and let's do the same at the back side, which is right here. And now let's use the Serena command and click on this center. And let's type D enter and type 27.5 for the diameter. And now let's click on is it endpoint and move the mouse in the extraction and type 35 millimeter and hit the enter. And let's use the cylinder command one more time. Click on this center and type D enter. And let's type 35 enter and high will be 35 too. Now select this both cylinder. We need to move this in the extraction uh, to the center of this body. I mean previous body. Click here and here. Okay. 
Again, we need to move this two cylinder in the Z direction about 160 millimeter. Now let's create a box for the top portion. Click anywhere you want and type 18.5 for the X direction and press the tab key and 20 for the Y and enter and 20 for the Z and enter. Now let's move this body to the center of this cylinder. So let's use the move command and move it. And now let's change the visual style to shade all gray. And now let's use the subtract command. Select this body and this big cylinder, enter, and select this center cylinder and enter. And now let's use the line command. Click on this center and create a vertical line, which is 160 millimeter. Okay, now let's go to the top view. And here you need to create a 2D sketch, which I have already done it, which is the sketch. You can use this dimension to create it. Now select all these dimensions to delete it. Okay, now we need to use the meta command to meta this to the right side and to the upside. Now let's use the join command to join it. Okay, now we need to move this to the center of the vertical line. So let's use the move command and select this and click on center of this geometry and place it at the midpoint of that line. Now let's use the copy command, select this 2D and enter and click on this space point. And let's move it about 60 in the vertical direction, upward and 30 for the downward direction. Okay. Now we need to adjust the size of this two cross section. So let's use the scale command and select this object and let's click on the center of this geometry and let's type 0 0.88 to scale it down and now let's use the scale command one more time and click on this center and let's type 1.32 to scale it up okay now we don't need this anymore you can delete or you can hide it now let's use the love command slide this to cross section and hit enter two times now let's use the move surface command and let's slide this face and click on this space point and move it up to this point okay now let's do the same for this face use the same move command slide this face and then click on this space point and move it up to this point okay now you need to draw two cylinder at this center to subtract it, which I have already drawn it. Let me show you the cylinder. Okay, now let's use the subtract command and select this link, enter, and select this two cylinder, enter. Okay, now we need to use the union command to combine all these three parts. Now let's use the filler H command and select this H and this H from the other side and enter. You can use any filler radius you want. I'm going to type 26 for this. And now let's do the same for the top edges. Now let's use the chamfer H command. And select this center edges. And enter. You can use any design you want. I'm going to use 1.5 for it. Now you can do the same for the rest of the center edges. Now let's use the cylinder command and click on this center and type D enter and type 3 for diameter and you can put any more high you want. Uh, actually this is for creating a wide hole in the body. Well now uh, use subtract command, select this body, enter and select one of this cylinder and enter. Now let's create orthography view from this 3D object. So let's type view base and choose model space and click on entire model and enter. And you have to choose the layout. You can choose any layout you want. 
Okay, I'm going to choose layout A3 and place it right here for the frame view and choose exit and click here for the side and click here for the W. Now let's use the scale command to scale it up because this is quite small and click here for the base point and let's type about 2.6 enter. Okay, down, down, that's look better. And now let's do this frame view because we are going to create a session view here. So select this side view and use full session. And let's click at the midpoint of this object for the first point. And let's click right here for the second point. Okay, now let's place this session view right at the middle of this object. And choose exit. Okay, as you can see, we got the session view right here. Well, that's all guys. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe my channel. And see you in the next tutorial.